There are two main sections of reports. There are all reports, which contains all the stock reports that have been developed for the report manager. Then there are my reports, which are reports that you have customized for your specific needs. We will start with all reports and then come back to my reports towards the end of the tour. To create a report, simply double click on it. The report opens up in a new tab and allows you to select your input parameters. I will select this year as my date range. You can select any of the default date ranges or a custom date range by using the start and end date drop down boxes. You can also select or type in any parameters for your report. Each report will have their own unique set of input parameters depending on the nature of the report. Once you have set your parameters, click on the execute button. The report detail will appear. The first thing to realize is that you can sort on any column of data by simply clicking on it. I will sort by description. If I click it again, it will do a reverse sort. I can easily group the report by any field. For instance, if I wanted to group the report by manufacturer, I simply drag the field heading to the group by header. Now you can see the report is grouped by manufacturer data. Let me expand a group to further show the detail. So here is the detail of all my sales under Michelin branded product. I can also do subgroups. Let's say I want to group by part number under each manufacturer. I simply drag and drop the part number. Again, here is Michelin broken down by each part number. The detail of each part number can be expanded and analyzed. To remove any groupings, simply drag the groups out of the group by header. The groups are removed and we are back to our first report. I can also access the sort and grouping using the right click on the report. In the right click context sensitive menu, you can see I also have a filter option. To filter a report, simply choose the column, the condition, the value of the condition, and then click the add button. You can add as many filters as you want. So now the report only contains items with water in the description. You can see here 130 rows have been filtered out. In a similar way you can remove filters by opening the filter dialog, choosing the filter to remove followed by clicking the remove button. The context menu also provides the ability to choose which columns you wish to be shown on the report. Simply uncheck the boxes you wish not to display. The columns disappear. Right clicking on a line items detail will often provide the ability to drill down into further data. In this case, the drill down reports gives me the option to see the invoices these 12 tires sold on. Drill down reports create separate reports from the original. You can see we now have two tabs active. One is the original report and the second one is the drill down report. You can often drill down more than one level too. Example, I'm given the opportunity to see the selected invoices details. I now have three reports, the original report, the invoice list drill down, 
and now the invoice details drill down. I've been using the right click menus. The features I've shown you so far can also be found under the report tab on the ribbon. An option that is found on the ribbon that is not in the context menu is the summary. You can summarize reports to fit your needs using this feature. Similar to the filtering dialog, choose a column, the type of summary, and then click the add button. You can summarize more than one column. You can also choose where the summary is to appear on the report. I will summarize the quantity field into a standard sum and display it at the bottom of my report. As you can see, the quantity has been totaled in a sum for me. Fired input parameters, grouping, sorting, filtering, and summaries, you can save it. So if you run certain reports with very complex options on a regular basis, consider saving them under My Reports. This way, you don't have to customize them each time you execute them. You can save them with your customized reports by clicking the Save Layout button. You can give your report a name and description of your very own and choose whether or not to save the parameter values. Customize report saved under My Reports. Anytime I wish to run that report with my saved settings, I can simply double click on it and then execute it. My report is executed with all my parameters and summarized how I wanted it. My reports can be a real time saver.